May God who has begun this good work in you bring it to fulfillment. Hi, and welcome to St. Paul's Seminary on the second Sunday of the Lenten season. How's your Lent going? That's a question that's been in my mind this week as I've prepared um, for the homily for, for Sunday. You know, how's my Lent going? In the Gospel, we, we hear about the transfiguration of Jesus on Mount Tabor. This moment for me is a moment of hope. It should be a moment of hope for all of us. I'd like to focus on just one part of that experience of the disciples on Mount Tabor when the cloud came upon them and set upon Jesus, that overshadowing, if you will. We hear about the overshadowing when Mary conceives Jesus. Then and I think we have to remember that we too have been overshadowed by the Holy Spirit as we choose our way to follow Christ. If you look behind me, the wall of crosses, they're, they're the class crosses of each group of men that have entered St. Paul's Seminary. Every fall as the new group comes, they are presented with a cross. And God willing, throughout their entire life, they carry that cross. They walk the way of Jesus. My cross is, is right at the end of the wall there. The hope is that we would look at the cross as a source of strength. And we would look at this cross as a place in which we can prop ourselves up when we get tired or tempted to go another way. I think that's what the experience of the transfiguration is about. It's about realizing that while we may hear how Jesus is going to be crucified and die for us, as the disciples did, but we have to remember the rest of the story, that there's hope in the glory that is to come. There's hope in the heavenly kingdom. There's hope in the love that shines bright. That love, that grace, is what overshadows us and gives us the strength to carry on, like Mary, like the disciples, and like you. I think if there's one thing we're going to think about as we discern God's call in our life, is how are we going to walk? Will we walk with our heads down low because it may get difficult? Or will we walk with our heads held high because we know that we have the strength of the cross of Jesus Christ and the hope that is to come when we carry that cross to the heavenly kingdom? May God bless you. And may you lift high the cross and live in the hope and the glory of the kingdom of God. Thank you.